welcome back to Heaven's Kitchen. Today, we're diving into the world of heavenly desserts with a classic baklava recipe. Stay tuned as we show you how to make this golden, nutty delight. First let's prepare our syrup. Add sugar, cinnamon and water to a saucepan. You'll find all the ingredients and measurements in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. Bring it to a boil then lower the heat and let it simmer for about 15 minutes, then add lemon juice and turn off the heat and set it aside to cool down. Brush a baking pan, usually around 9 by 13 inches, with melted butter. Carefully place two sheets of phyllo dough into the prepared pan and brush it with melted butter. Repeat this process five times, layering ten sheets. Next, let's prepare the star of the show, our crushed walnut mixture. Not too fine, not too coarse, just the perfect texture. Add sugar and a dash of cinnamon, mix it all up, and generously sprinkle half of this heavenly concoction over our phyllo layers. Now, the magic continues. Add another 10 phyllo sheets, just like before, and top them with the remaining crushed walnut mixture. Then finish with the final 10 layers of phyllo dough with a total of 30 layers. Get ready for the fun part. With a sharp knife, cut the phyllo layers into your preferred shape, we're going for classic diamonds, but feel free to get creative. To ensure that every inch of our baklava is coated in pure goodness, pour the rest of that melted butter all over the top. It's the secret to that golden, crispy perfection we all crave. Now, pop it into the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 minutes or until it reaches that beautiful golden brown and crispy perfection. Right as our baklava emerges from the oven, still piping hot, we're going to pour that cool down syrup all over it. This is where the magic happens, the syrup seeping into every layer, infusing sweetness into every bite. Now, here's the hard part, the waiting. Before we can dive into this divine creation, we need to exercise a bit of patience. Allow the baklava to cool down for at least one hour. This gives all those flavors a chance to mingle and intensify. And there you have it, our mouth-watering walnut baklava straight from heaven's kitchen. Just look at that golden beauty. Trust me, the aroma alone is worth the wait. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our heavenly recipes. Until next time, happy cooking from heaven's kitchen.